Hi guys, NAM 2020, this is Robert here at the Huber booth with my good friend Nick Huber. How are you, man? Good. Yeah, good. Yeah. Uh, he's always very successful here. He makes uh, 285 guitars a year, which still uh, a lot of guitars, but but he's it's, they're very consistent, very high quality. Uh, you may know them from our store. Um, we just made a deal with Nick that we are getting between 20 and 24 guitars this year, which is a lot. Uh, which is 8% of his production. And uh, we're getting, uh, from February, two guitars in a, each month, which will be uh, probably a Crowdster or another, let's say, uh, more affordable uh, Huber and a more higher up, uh, high-end guitar like a, an Orca or a Dolphin. With all this intricate maple that you see here, you see a lot of nice finishes. So what is new for this year, Nick? What, what can you tell me? Well, new are really two things. That's um, the new model which I don't have a name for yeah. yet <laughs> so um, after some re um, requests for the more older bolt on maple neck guitar mastery bridge was inquired quite often I see the gold foil happening here yeah that's a tweak on the p90 with a gold foil cosmetic yeah and uh, so doing doing a very can we say fender orientated yeah, design? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I mean, it's we we are. I but mean, it's still very original looking. Yeah, it's my dolphin shape, and um, so and we also we just needed a, a bolt on guitar because customers really asked for it. Yeah. So and that is for that, the twang, let's say. Yeah, yeah, and uh, just for long scale guitar, Cross has a 25 uh, scale inch uh, inch scale. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, 25 and a half, of course. And uh, so we can do a lot of things. We can do two jazz master pickups. We can do single coils. We can do humbuckers. And um, yeah, that's a new take on a in the crowdstar price range. Yeah, uh, so price that's category. So uh, three thousand euros and up. Yeah. And the nice yeah. thing is, because we're getting two guitars in a month, we are planning with Clemens, uh, which is uh, his assistant or more or less co-worker. Right. Uh, so we're planning it out through through the year. So at least twenty-two guitars. So if you want. Uh, one of these guitars, we can sort of schedule yours in. Uh, same with a Crowdster, same with an Orca. Uh, so it will take less time than if you would do an individual order, because that would take between six and ten months, and this will take then obviously as long as the delivery is due. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, this yeah. is a very yeah. complicated sentence, yeah. but you know what I'm. It's yeah. a very cool looking guitar. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we will order a few of these in solid colors. So um, I think it's very cool. Thank you. And, cool. and what we also did is a, like a very, very ultra thin finish. You feel actually the pores of the wood. So it's pretty much, it, it's our thinnest finish we have. Yeah, it's, it's like a Krautster neck finish. Yeah, so yeah. it's a breathing, breathing. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Cool. So that's new. Another one that stands out to me is uh, this finish. Yeah. Which I, which I call the rusted car finish. Yeah, yeah. So we did this a few times and um, we, and kind of every color is possible with this rusty appearance and um, so the trick is that that finish really contains real metal powder in the finish and you can this is real rust which we can then stop and put a thin clear coat over it but I, I also like it a lot looks like a, an old American car or yeah. Something. yeah 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 and if you do it like in cream white it looks like an old fridge yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dirty fridge yeah well, of course uh, there's the the trusted yeah, trusted models. The Surfmeister, and what is really cool in this one, we have, we are working with a company called uh, with Herreos from Germany. They have a daughter company called Amloy, and this this is a 3D printed bridge from uh, a morph metal. So the long story behind it, we're just starting off with that. That that material is stronger than steel, more flexible, and does not absorb any vibrations. Wow. Very very cool. So and so is uh, very you, expensive. Or? We don't know yet. We just started off. Um, of course, a one piece three D printed, and especially the design is very complex. So um, it's more like a spatial little shit. This right? It, it the technology is used <laughs> in, in aerospace yeah. technology, and uh, so so. But you can do crazy things with it, and the material since it's a mor amorph metal, which has um, that brings definitely a um, a more resonant piece. So I'm really looking forward to experimenting now, so stay tuned, this will come. Yeah, cool. And that's really cool, cool. cool. And I see a lot of nice, crazy colors. Of course, we're at a show, so that, yeah. that is also a part. This is also one of these metal finishes. Yeah, that's the copper coat, which we have done also a few times now. That's on the Krauser with the black limber, body and neck, which is also not standard. But yeah, I, 
I like that. And I, have I just get very th greedy seeing this. Yeah, what? Very greedy, I get very greedy, yeah. I want it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Some people said it's the nicest guitar in the booth. And I personally like it a lot. And I just have a neck in my shelf, a reed bang neck, which is my favorite model, with these inlays. It's going to be a copper coat reed bang for myself. But it yeah, takes so long till I get my guitar. But your <laughs> wife is watching, so you have to say reed bang is your favorite model, right? Um, it. I didn't even pu put that bridge on, <laughs> but of course, because of the wife. <laughs> Because uh, his lovely wife is, is, is named Reed Bergen, so yeah, that's... Uh, she's, she's actually Dutch, she Dutch, so... I'm married to a Dutch. That's another uh, factor, which, uh, which I like Mooi a lot. Mooi meisje. Mooi meisje, ja, zeker. Okay, that's about it, uh, I think, from the Hooper stand. Do you have anything else that you want to show us? Um, oh, the, the, the bass. Tell, tell us the, the story about... That's our Reed Bergen bass. Uh, since I had the Reed Bergen guitar, I really... I thought, if I will do a bass, I want a bass like bass on the reed bang, a lot of bass in the bass, bass, bass. Um, so, and... But tell us about the Dave Grohl video. Yeah, the first story behind it is that Nate Mandel from the Foo Fighters bought one of our basses, which is very nice for me because I'm, uh, it's not a secret that I really like this band. And then Dave Grohl made this play video, which is really cool to check out. It's like a, it's an, I think it's a 20 minute song, is it that long? A long song where he plays every instrument, like drums and keyboards and guitars and in one part of the video, he grabs Nate's bass and plays the bass in his video. And the video has, I don't know, two million clicks. And, uh, wow, that's I, good I, advertising. That was really, I, that was really <coughs> rewarding. To deserve it. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's one of the nicest luthiers I know. He's really a really friendly guy. I mean, for a German even, it's really amazing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but, no. <laughs> <laughs> he's really funny. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for this. And, nice uh, to hang out with you. So, 22 to 24 guitars coming to Max Guitar this year. Mm. Get yours in time. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. Bye-bye. <laughs>